Today I'm coming at you with a subject. I'm not exaggerating. I got hit five times in the past couple days following Spartan Fenway, Spartan Ultra World Championships, and it's a subject that I get hit with all the time in the sport of OCR because because people re people reach out to me. And they're asking me things like, Nancy, what can we do in these situations? What should we do <clears throat> to help clean up our, our sport? And we, we all have our level of, of influence. And I, I appreciate when people reach out to me and I, I do everything I can to try. I have several different strategies that I do. But, but long story short, here's what I'm talking about. People are freaking cheaters, man. They are dishonest. They have, there are some people that do not have a lot of morals and ethics and values and they flat out cheat. I've watched it, I've witnessed it, and I've, I've tried to do everything I could do to, to help and people start to realize, well, Yancey takes th this approach and that approach and I'll, I'll reach out to him, I'll let him know. Um, several instances at, uh, at Fenway. There will be people that watch this video I have a, there's a few followers that I know people that are following me that I know are uh, have been caught cheating so I hope you watch this because and I'm the type I, I, I don't ever believe and I mean there might be some extreme cases but I'm, I'm not a big proponent of just throwing out names and, and throwing people under the bus you, you know maybe this message can reach one person watching this that that has cheated and maybe cheated this weekend because I know I, I've had I, you know there's there's certain people the things they come at you with and the way they're presented and the things that I've seen in the past, even recently, you, you know when somebody's feeding you a line of shit and when somebody's telling you the honest truth of what they saw. And there's this, there's, there's flat out cases out there that, that need to be cleaned up. And at the end of the day, in our sport, it's virtually impossible for Spartan or anybody else to clean it all up themselves. There's only so much they can do. Um, yeah, we'd love to snap our fingers and have official paid marshals at every single obstacle. <clears throat> that's that's not gonna that's not happening right now. Um, and we'd love to snap our fingers and not have a single person uh, intimidate volunteers. Man, I have seen people intimidate volunteers. I've seen people fail obstacles, and and and, and no. Either they came up and they looked and they could tell that there was no camera in place because I race age group or used to race elite. I might slip into elite every now and then, but, um, and they flat out, I've watched people run off from the obstacle, book it. No, they know that the person, no way they saw their headband number and they, they blast and the volunteer is screaming at them and there's nothing the volunteer can do really, unless they just have this, it's, it's, he said, she said, once they get back. I was like, well, this guy in the, I think he was wearing a, a red pair of shorts. I don't know. The volunteers are watching all this stuff happen. And you, you, the, the cheater that might be watching the video, it's your fault. It's on you to clean yourself up. There shouldn't be other people that have to clean you up. 99% of us are inside the guardrails. We respect the sport. We respect all the organizations that put the events on. This is directed at you. There shouldn't have to be a discussion on having paid marshals at every single obstacle. You should know what you need, you need to do at the obstacle. And if you don't do it, you fail it, you do everything that you have to do to meet the penalty, period. That's the way it is. Clean your ass up. It's, um, I mean, I'm gonna be sending out three or four emails a day, passing things on that were passed on to me. I had several phone calls. I took down all this information. And I just take an and I'm going to be reaching out to some of you privately because that's the way I do it. Some of you that are have accused of some things that everything I have in front of me, it's it's pretty dang obvious what you did. Um, and and my gosh, huge shout out to the course marshals, the the, the head referees at all the organizations that do their freaking best. They, they they put up time periods where formal protests can be submitted, and then there's the there's this head banging back and forth. And there's, and in some cases, three or four against one, three or four people saw you do this. And think about being in that, that head referee. If there's no video proof, 
and there's no way you can video the whole freaking race. If you're cutting tape, if you're jumping over tape in a race, Fenway, all these switchbacks, and several reports of people out there on Sunday cut, I mean, multiple people come to me and say, Yancey, I watched him jump over tape. And you can easily, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out, and, and I'm just giving one instance of over hundreds that, that have happened over the years. It not, doesn't take rocket science when you see people zigzagging, you're like, if I just slip over this piece, bam, I just saved 20, 30, 45 seconds. And decent chance, pretty good chance that nobody's going to officially be able to, maybe somebody might see me, but they're running 90 miles an hour. We have race brain on. It happens all the time. And it's hard for us to just, especially going through freaking bleachers this wide. Oh my gosh, I got a few, <laughs> on a positive note, well, kind of positive, I got a few thigh bruises because I was, several times I was trying to take in the, the amazing beauty of here I am doing a stadium race in Fenway freaking park. It's like a museum, folks. Just, I mean, I wandered around that stadium for hours just taking pictures and taking it all in. I'm a baseball fan. My son's a baseball fan, and uh, we love baseball. Um, but uh, so you, you didn't really have much time to, uh, to stop and like, take notes of the guy you saw cheating over there. We shouldn't have to, man. Clean your ass up, dude. If you're doing that in a race, and, and I had two people reach out, from Sweden, giving me very specific details on what they saw and how extremely depressed they were at what they saw happen from uh, people that were signed up for elites and age group. And this is nothing, it's not like it's just a couple races. It, every single race this happens, 99 plus percent of us are inside the guardrails and do would do everything, you know, we, we, we try to stay within the moral, ethic, and morals, ethics, and values guardrails. That's what it's all about. You have to have guardrails in your life. You can't have guardrails. They don't have to be the skin. They can be wide. But there's certain things that there's morals, ethics, and values that you should have in your freaking brain that hold you accountable, that keep you inside those guardrails. And when you jump outside the guardrails, you got you to realize that was wrong. You own up to it, and you get your butt back inside the guardrails. We can have a crap ton of fun inside the guardrails. Life doesn't have to happen outside the guardrails. If you've ever cheated to improve your performance a little bit, you're wrong. You need to clean your ass up. If you've ever stood on a podium when you shouldn't have been standing on a podium because you cheated, you're wrong. You need to clean your shit up. So anyway, I love y'all, man. Even the people that cheat, I want to help you. I love you too. I just want you to clean your shit up. Come on. Um, the... For every single person that decides to stay inside the guardrails and do things right, it's one fewer person that we need creating rules and laws and guidelines and books this freaking thick to try to keep you in line. They're not written to keep most of us in line. They're written to keep some of you, the one percenters, in line. I want you one percenters to make some change. I love y'all. I love everybody. The cheaters and the non-cheaters. Some of you need a freaking, I need freaking, I want to sit down. I want you to sit down right here. We'll have a beer and we'll talk about it. Ugh. So thank, for everybody that reached out, thank you. I'm going to do everything I can. Uh, this, this video is part of my process. So rock and roll. You guys have a great week. Let's see. Not this week. I'm the next week. I'll see, a, I'll see a lot of you at the Carolinas Ultra playing mama duck roll, trying to help about 200 people get their very first Ultra buckle. They've either failed uh, they've DNF'd, or that this is the very first one, so they're nail biting nervous. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay about 25 minutes ahead of the cutoff, get them out, get them through that first lap, get their butts out of the transition area, back on the course for the second lap. And we're gonna get a lot of people get the first ultra buckle. Much love, everybody. Be good. Keep lighting up the planet, everybody.